Good evening, Cal Bears. I'm Marian Haderali, one of your new Berkeley Bee anchors for this semester, and these are the stories you need to know to get you through the week. The Ebola outbreak and a potential cure right here on campus. Hong Kong's umbrella revolution and its impact throughout the world, including UC Berkeley. An update on the worst drought in California history and what Berkeley is doing in response. And finally, the pick of the week, a student organization worth checking out. I'm Marian Haderali, and the Berkeley Beat starts now. On this week's Cal Crimes Report, last Thursday, October 3rd, one student was arrested on allegations of rape. His was one of three cases reported last weekend, two of which were confirmed to be at UC Berkeley affiliated fraternity houses. In light of Governor Jerry Brown's yes means yes laws, officials are cracking down on reports of sexual assault. Last year, reports of sexual assault on UC campuses rose by nearly 50%. Officials are hopeful that the new law will help reverse that trend. The largest Ebola outbreak in history has recently affected the United States. The Cal Campus Community Health Services are currently working to reduce risk of exposure amongst our community in various ways, ranging from monitoring the Ebola outbreak to proactive planning with public health officials should it directly affect Cal. Ongoing research is being made to determine the structure of the Ebola virus protein. Researchers are utilizing UC Berkeley resources at the Berkeley Center for Structural Biology. All of this is happening amidst the enterovirus outbreak that has already affected six people in the Bay Area. On October 1st, students rallied together on Sproul to demonstrate their support for democracy in Hong Kong and around the world in a movement known as the Umbrella Revolution. Students and protesters alike are showing their support for nonviolent student protesters who are facing tear gas, batons, and pepper spray in their pursuit of democratic elections, with UC Berkeley students as no exception. And I feel like uh, those of us who were born here in America, um, we tend to take democracy for granted. We believe that democracy is something that everyone gets to enjoy, when in fact it, that's not the case at all. The Umbrella Revolution protests occurred amidst other protests as well, namely the free speech movement demonstration and the Cal Progressive Coalition sit-in at the Architecture and Engineering Building. Fifty years later, free speech is very much alive and well at the UC Berkeley campus. For more on this story, make sure to check out CalConnect. As the drought in California worsens this year, UC Berkeley stresses the Every Drop Counts campaign to create or reinforce personal water conservation habits. As Chancellor Dirk notes, the campaign offers information on simple actions that can make a big difference. Since Governor Jerry Brown's declaration of drought emergency this past January, it has become crucial for Californians to reduce daily water usage. On UC Berkeley's end, our campus is now over halfway to the goal of using 10% less water by 2020. Roll on you bears. For this week's Pick of the Week, check out PAA, the Filipino American Alliance. Established in 1969, the organization was started by Filipino students to advance political, economic, and social justice. PAA is especially active in this month of October, which is officially recognized as Filipino American History Month. You can check out PAA on Sproul this Friday, October 17th for Sproul Visibility Day. Make sure to check out CalTV's Facebook page to vote for next week's Pick of the Week. That's all for this week, Golden Bears. Stay tuned for CalTV's next episode, and as always, Go Bears!